Hello, here we are in the Micro Foundry workshop. What we'd like to um, share with you this afternoon is what we think is a step in the right direction, which is a revamp of our vacuum assistance for casting. This is the system that we've been recommending and we've been selling the, uh, the vacuum table since 2011. A 12 volt DC compressor converted to a vacuum pump. Pulling down two thirds of a vacuum, minus 10 pounds per square inch into a little tank like this, and the vacuum being supplied through to the table via a valve. Works nicely, completely reliable. We firmly and strongly recommend that you use vacuum assistance, but the cost, 2011 to halfway through 2018, this little unit, which is the prototype, is on its second compressor, its third lead acid battery. It's always been a bit noisy, and you do have to remember to make sure it's charged up when you need it. The financial balance has changed by having these vacuum units freely available now for the air conditioning maintenance people available online that they're coming through from China and a two and a half to three cubic foot single stage vacuum pump is about 60 pounds which means that not only will it do the vacuum assist casting but disconnecting it from the table and connecting it to your co-op honey jar with a spout in the top will allow you to when you've mixed up your investment in this little pot, will debubble the investment, which of course the other one would have done, but will also debubble your silicone resin and your RTV resins for making bubble-free moulds, which, which is bliss. So instead of using now needing two pumps, the single pump will do it because of the higher flow rate. So basically when you're ready to cast you connect the and this this is the total plumbing connection push the tube onto the spout and you're done make the seal with this ordinary bath sealant silicone sealant a little fillet all the way around the inside rim of the table and we're ready to go wearing gloves when the time's right You introduce your, your hot mould into the silicone seal, press it down gently, and again wear, wearing gloves, and your borosilicate stirrer, a stir, and simultaneously turn on the vacuum, pour the melt. Give it five seconds to run. Anything that hasn't happened after five seconds isn't going to happen. And your casting is complete. And you'll find that 99 out of 100 are a good, fully filled, solid casting. As long as you've got your seal made properly around the bottom. Break the remains of the vacuum off. Put that down to cool. At this stage you need to clean off the silicone sealant because if you don't do it now it gets very very sticky later on so before you even think about quenching and, and trying to find your casting just remember to clean that and you're ready now to quench and I think you'll find that 99 out of 100 fill nicely and we sell the new table ready built onto a plinth to keep it stable on your on your bench the table and the pipe the silicone vacuum tube ready to push straight onto the outlet port of your pump for £50 plus P&P. Have a look on the Steedcraft Etsy shop and give it a go.